Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, I am Chloe, and today's video is going to be my September Plan With Me video. I know this is a bit different from my other Plan With Me videos, usually I am in front of an actual camera, but lately I've just been slowly making the transition back into editing and filming. A lot has happened over the past month with me finishing my uni semester in August, me being on break, and just other personal issues that I've been going through. It has been a lot so that's why i have been a little bit inactive but i am back and yeah other than that i still hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah without further ado let's just get started so i'm finally back with another plan with me video it's actually been a while since i've uploaded one of these because for the month of august i did actually skip the month and i didn't get to upload a august plan with me and that's only because i wasn't able to edit in time i actually filmed the august plan with me video however by the time i had the time to actually edit it was already like mid august and almost the end of august so i decided to just skip it and just leave it i was just so busy with uni with all the final exams because august was pretty much the month where all my final exams were due after that was all done and i started my break i was just burnt out and yeah it was just too late to upload my august plan with me so hopefully you guys will be able to see those spreads possibly in my instagram if i choose to upload them or you can just anticipate that when i upload my flip through video but yeah for the month of september i decided to come back to it and just film one and upload one because i am currently on my break yeah i just decided to take the time to decorate because i like showing you guys my process on decorating my planner this activity just gives me so much joy and it just it's very therapeutic in my opinion and i'm sure some of you guys feel the same way and it can also give you guys a spark of creativity or inspiration so this is why i like making these types of videos For the month of September, as you can see, I decided to do a nature theme. So there is a lot of flowers and insects, and I was mostly focused on the theme of cottage core. So cottage core is a aesthetic, mostly a fashion aesthetic, which is popularized by millennials or gen z and it just basically romanticizes rural life so nature cottages mushrooms just like away from the capitalist world that we live in it's just romanticizing all of that so i decided to go with this theme because it actually kind of fits the season right now so in september that is basically the start of spring for us in australia so i wanted to do a nature theme and i thought cottage core was the most appropriate or fitting for this month i decided to use a lot of greens and yellows and also browns and just anything that fit the nature theme i was afraid that this theme was a bit repetitive from my other themes because i have used or done a green theme in my planner but i just thought whatever i haven't done a nature theme yet so i might as well just do it i incorporated a lot of these colors brown paper i also thought it was much easier for me to do this theme because i have a lot of memo sheets and decorative paper and pictures that i can use that fit the theme a lot of pictures that have flowers birds insects butterflies mushrooms just any of that type of stuff and i just thought it just fits well with the theme i don't really like doodling so i really like just using paper that i can cut out from magazines or books or memo sheets anything like that that fits the theme and it's just more easier i am not that patient and i think this is just the easiest way so you don't really need to know how to doodle or any of that to decorate your planner you can use whatever is accessible to you and just play around with the placement of everything and just experiment with the style that you want
I guess I will just give you guys an update on what I've been up to and why I've been a little bit inactive. And firstly, I apologize for that. Like I said, August was pretty much the month where I was doing my final assignments. There were a lot of major works as well as presentations, and it was a lot. And by the time I finished and started my break, I was pretty much burnt out. So it took a while for me to get back into the groove of editing. But then once September hit, September basically hit me with the loss of a loved one. And it's pretty personal, so I won't really go into detail about it, but it basically affected me and those around me a lot. So it was a pretty hard for me to edit or film or just talk in front of a camera. I just wasn't myself and it's something that you can never really prepare for and it's something that will always catch you off guard. And it's just an unfortunate thing that happens and it really is a lot to cope with and handle, but of course you just gotta be there for your loved ones and just you know make sure that you guys are all together reminding that they're not alone it's been really rough i gotta be honest i haven't been able to properly be active on social media with these thoughts just lingering but only time will really help heal all the sadness and pain and as deep as that sounds like that's just how it is i am feeling a little bit better now and i will slowly get better in the future but that's just how it is lately and that's why I have been a little bit inactive so I apologize for that. I will hopefully become more consistent with uploading even when the next semester starts which is in the next few weeks so yeah my break is not really that long but hopefully I'll be able to manage my time better and upload YouTube and making videos and just anything like this just brings me so much joy. It is an escape from uni because I guess everyone knows how rough school can get so it is my escape. I will try my best to be more better at my time management. I will be honest, I am definitely not the greatest but we will get there and I know I'm not alone in that so whoever feels like they are not doing well because of their time management, you are not alone. I am with you, I understand you and we will get through this together. It just takes time. yeah i have been feeling better and i'm glad i have people around me to keep me company even if it's online unfortunately we are still in lockdown here in australia we're not entirely sure when this is going to end and i know other people feel the same way but you know we're still just trying to cope with being online and just finding joy in the little things such as watching movies i have been watching harry potter lately i've been re-watching it and oh my gosh it brings me so much joy i know this has nothing to do with the plan with me video but harry potter is so good i used to have a harry potter phase and i understand why because oh my god harry potter is so good literally i've also been watching jojo so if you're into anime i've been watching jojo's bizarre adventure before i was a bit hesitant because this art style is a little bit different or i'd say bizarre compared to other animes but my boyfriend has convinced me and i really like the anime we're up to part three right now and hopefully we'll be able to finish that soon honestly the other day we like watched 20 episodes in one sitting so it was a lot but it was good no regrets <laughs> thing that i've been up to over the past few weeks is i actually managed to rearrange my room so it is completely different now i got a new bed and hopefully i'll be able to show you guys through a room tour or desk tour or anything like that i'm just waiting for stuff but i think i really needed this change just to like spice it up because lockdown is not fun when you're in a space for that long and you can't really go anywhere life is just repetitive we've all kind of been there but yeah i just decided to change my space and i've been really liking it it is a bit strange because you know you're not used to it but i like it 
I can't wait to share it with you guys. I'm such a lover of room decor and just making things pretty and stuff. However, it does get a little bit expensive, am I right? Like, how is room decor or home decor, anything like that, so expensive? It's such an expensive hobby or thing to do. So it's definitely a luxury to do something like this and I'm grateful, but yeah i really needed this change and my space is like new but it's still my safe haven so for the rest of the spread i just decided to incorporate more stickers and photos that I found laying around with my memo sheets or decoration paper, just anything that fits the cottagecore theme. Hopefully I can incorporate more mushrooms because when I think of cottagecore, I think of a lot of mushrooms. So hopefully I can add that, more flowers and nature elements and yeah, I had a lot of fun just decorating this. I was however going through a lot while I was filming but I still enjoyed it because it got my mind off things and decorating and anything creative just brings me a lot of joy so i had a lot of fun making these spreads i'm really proud of the way they look i hope they kind of look like cottagecore or they kind of fit the theme of cottagecore and yeah that's pretty much it for my plan with me video let me know what you think and also let me know if you decided to do a theme for the month of september as well i'd love to know your themes that you've done for your planner or bullet journal maybe i can get inspiration for the future but yeah that is it and thank you for watching so that was pretty much it for my plan with me video for the month of september september has had a rough start already but i hope that it will only get better from here and just remember to always stay positive and to just be there for those that you love life is too short to be negative you know so i hope you all take care and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day please take care of yourselves and i'll just see you in my next one Bye bye